Hello everyone, LocoForce here. Welcome back to some Brian's Layout. Today we're going to be doing a project of how I um, make this big concrete retaining wall that's going to go along the back of the layout. And I'm going to be showing you, um, well, the whole process really. So we're going to paint it, we're going to put on some like some low bridge signs and all that. And then we're going to stick on some graffiti and I'll show you the process of doing that as well. So uh, yeah, could be a short one, could be a long one, but uh, let's jump right in. So the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to just be doing downward strokes as uh, this should help when it dries it will look like there's sort of streaks going down which is going to be helpful uh, when we get around to sort of weathering it for like rain effects for example. How I'm going to do them yet I'm not sure but uh, we'll find out just a bit later. With the first coat of paint now in we are just going to give it a quick break and I'll be right back in just a second, but until then, uh, here's a couple drains. So progress has been made, we've got a couple more layers of paint on now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a paint pen, I use Posca pens, we're just going to draw big lines going down and then across to simulate like the big concrete prefabricated blocks. Also over here is um, some graffiti stickers, now I make these, I've just started a business where I'm selling these so if you're interested do let me know. We're going to be sticking a load of these along the bottom later on. So I thought I'd just uh, show these for scale, but uh, I think this is going to look quite good. Okay, so now what I've gone and done is sort of weathered um, the concrete. to sort of make it look a little bit older, so you know you'd have to rain down the top and it kind of runs down and gradually weathers it. And then there's also quite a lot on the bottom. So what we'll do next is we'll start off with the graffiti and then I'll do another coat of black over the top of it to sort of fit it in. Right guys, so that has now dried, giving a sort of weathered effect. I think it looks all right, to be honest. It's obviously not the best, but I think it will do for the time being. So what I've started doing is adding some chevrons to one of the low bridge, uh, so the vehicles can go underneath, because obviously we are building this over a level crossing. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use some, just put down a couple of these speed signs on either side of the bridge. Actually just one side of the bridge. And then um, we're going to start messing around adding the graffiti. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so now I've started the process of using my graffiti stickers. I've got a couple set up here. What I did is I marked out the sort of border because this goes up against a hill. So obviously we need to make sure that we don't stick a load of stuff down here that's going to get covered up. Um, so I put this at a slight slant because if someone was spraying graffiti they'd be standing on this sort of hilly bit and it'd be sort of done at an angle. So that is why I've done that. And then we've just stuck another one on the other side here. What we've also done is we've put on a couple speed limit signs on the bridge. Not sure why that's up there, I'm just, you know, trying to add more detail and stuff I guess. So yeah, um, these what's left of the graffiti stickers and like I've said I am making these. Um, but there'll be another video on that later on. So as you can see, quite a lot of progress has been made. I think I'm going to make one more sticker, put it over here. But apart from that, I think we're pretty much done. So I'm just going to do that. Then we'll get it set up downstairs and I'll show you the finished product. 
Right guys, that is the final sticker added on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head downstairs, stick it back onto it out, and uh, let's see how it looks. Right guys, well I'm not trying to blow my own horn or anything here, but I think this looks pretty insane. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. Um, so yeah, like I said before, it's a mixture of stickers and just directly painting onto it. And these stickers, which I think look pretty good, to be honest, uh, they are available. They are, this is something that I am selling. And like I said before, again, that'll be in another video. But we've got a mix of small tags. We've got some big ones. We've got some hollows. And we've got some more up there around the back where it sort of slopes down behind the trees. And over here, we've got a couple pieces done over the top of previous existing pieces. And I think this is a vast improvement on that, which is what I did at the start of this week. Um, I also did this earlier in the week. Um, so yeah, I think my skills are improving. So now my next big project is to get this up to the same standard as that. And we're also going to have to put in a tunnel. But that is everything for now, guys. So I'm going to leave you with a couple running shots. And uh, see you guys next video. Goodbye for now.